Once upon a time in the land of Hushabai, around about the wondrous days of yore, they came across a sort of box that was bound up with chains and locked with locks and labeled, Kindly Do Not Touch. It's war. A decree was issued around about, all with a flourish and a shout, and a gaily colored mascot tripping lightly on the floor. Do not fiddle with this deadly box, or break the chains, or pick the locks, and please, don't ever play about with war. Well, the children understood. Children happened to be good, and they were just as good around the time of yore. Mommies didn't either. Sisters, aunts, grannies neither, because they were quiet and sweet and pretty in those wondrous days of yore. Very much the same as now. Not the ones to blame somehow for opening up that deadly box of war. But someone did. Someone battered in the lid and spilled the insides out across the floor, a sort of bouncy, bumpy ball made up of all the guns and the flags and the tears and the horrors and the death that comes with war. It bounced right out and went bashing all about and bumping into everything in store, and what was sad and most unfair is that it didn't really seem to care much who it bumped. Or why? Or what? Or for? It bumped the children, mainly. And I'll tell you this quite plainly, it bumps them every day, and more and more, and leaves them dead and burned and dying, thousands of them sick and crying, because when it bumps, it's really very sore. Now there's a way to stop the ball. It isn't difficult at all. All it takes is wisdom, and I'm absolutely sure that we could get the ball back into that box and bind the chains and lock the locks. But no one seems to want to save the children anymore. Well, that's the way it all appears, because it's been bouncing around for years and years in spite of all the wisdom whiz since those wondrous days of yore. In the time when they first came across the box, bound up with chains and locked with locks, and labeled, Kindly Do Not Touch, It's War.